hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we will learn how to add validation on and design form like that some of the fields are required and we show the errors and some of fields are required but if user has entered something we show that uh, this does not look valid but you can still submit the form right so let's get started i have an empty react.js project that is using and design and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the form component from and design and start using it so it will be form i have a separate video on how to use the form and do its validation i will add the links in the i button as well as in the description below so that you can take a look in this particular video we will be only focusing on how to show the warning when user is submitting the form so in, under the form we will be using the form dot item and inside that we can use an input from end design and we can add a placeholder maybe we can say enter your name and for this one we can label it maybe we can say name and we can name it like uh, my name if i save it here you go it has shown the field name enter your name right let's copy this one and add another field uh, we can say website and in the name we can say my website and enter your website url right here you go so now let's add uh, uh, the submit button we can say submit and its html type to be submit and its the type is primary save it here you go and on the form we can add the on finish function that will be called when user has finished entering the values inside the form and copies and we can say const on finish is equal to uh, we will be getting the values inside that and we can just uh, console it okay save it and go to the inspect and show the console and now if i submit it says values and my name is undefined and website is also undefined if i enter anything here maybe amir and submit it shows name is this and website is still undefined and if i enter here maybe google it says uh, name is this and website is this right so let's add some rules uh, on these items so uh, for the name we can say that it's required and if it is not entered we can say please enter your name and similarly we can copy this one and add the rules to the second input as well and it is also required we can say please enter your website url and also we can add another uh, rule that we can say its uh, type is uh, url and we can say website url is not valid right save it and now if i remove everything and try to submit it says please enter your name and if i enter anything here it says it's good and here we can say uh, it's asking for the website url and if i type anything uh, no this one is uh, good to go that required to i have entered something and now this is checking for the second uh, rule where it is saying it should be a url so it's saying website url is not valid right so if i enter if something like HTTP as www.google.com it says well no right nope I can submit and I get the values here and if I remove it here so it, it won't allow me to uh, submit but suppose if uh, for some reason uh, we want that at least if user has entered anything here and we want to submit but we uh, we want to show the user a warning that it does not look a uh, correct url we can do that as well we can uh, add a you can say 
approve called warning only and we can say true so if i save it refresh no submit it says at least enter something if i say google so it says uh, that website url is not valid and but i it will allow me to uh, enter or the submit the form here you go so although it's showing me the warning but it it is allowing me to submit the form so this is the use case when uh, for some reason you want to show the user that uh, this field does not look good but if you think it's fine uh, you are able to submit the form right and even you can uh, add this warning only to any of the rule like uh, in, the, in the name as well so we will we can add the here and here again it is saying that it it is a required field but use uh, instead of giving the error it is saying that uh, it is a warning right so now if i can submit uh, even the empty values right and if i enter there's no warning and i can submit even if i can remove it and again it is giving a warning that you have to enter the name because i have said that warning only so it will allow me to uh, submit this one right so this is how you can add the rules for the required um, and you can show the error as well as uh, how to show the warning only but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you